Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, watchers. It's time for another video today. And oh boy, let me tell you about Sonobus, a tool that has so many advantages that I can't even remember them all. Like it's great for collaborative work where you compose something together with a friend. It's great for interview work where you interview someone and want to record it while recording yourself at the same time so that you can reduce the mixing that you need to do afterwards. It's great for so many advantages. You can even use it with an app on your iPhone. And I will tell you all about what Sonobus does for you and even give you a quick overview of the window and how you can set it up in basically no time in just a second. Before doing that, feel free to follow me on Twitter. You can find the link down in the video description. You can also leave a comment in the comment section below this video if you've got anything to say and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Now let's get started with the video. Sonobus is a software that allows you to connect to other people. It is so easy. The great thing about Sonobus is it doesn't require additional software on your system. There is a standalone app if you prefer one of those. But the great news is that you can also instantiate it as a VST plugin in Reaper and set it up that way. And this allows you to use the whole plethora of routing features that Reaper has to offer. You can route whatever you want into Sonobus. You can route whatever you want out of Sonobus. You can prevent anything that you don't want to be heard from going into Sonobus. You can connect with as many people as you like. You basically create a room where you get a link, where you get an ID, a group name. You can make it public or private. If it's public, then everyone can see it and basically everyone can join. That is a concept that is pretty popular amongst people who are trying to find people to create music with. Some musicians just create a public room and start jamming and then people will see, oh, there's a room, let's, let's do the same and just join and see what we can do. And then people group together and create something awesome just by, you know, pure randomness, just getting together and playing music together, which is awesome. That's huge. If you want to do something particular, like play with a friend and don't want anyone else to listen to this except the people that you sent the link to, then create a private group, give it a name, give it a password if you want. And you can just, you know, communicate with each other. You can talk to each other if you just create a track and route your input into Sonobus and all this kind of stuff. You basically can do whatever you can imagine with Reaper. It's just that easy. You go to the website that I will link down in the video description, download Sonobus and go through the installation. It's cross-platform. You can use it under Mac and under Windows. No problem at all. You basically just install it, open your Reaper, and get hacking. What you can do, the most easiest thing to do actually, is instantiate it on the master track. This will make sure that everything that goes into the master track, so every track by default, will be sent into the VST plugin and thus will be sent through Solobus. And everything that the other people on your group send to you will get directly into your headphones through the master track. That's the easiest setup. And that's what I will show you now. I've enabled NVDA, so all the sighted people don't get confused. You will listen to my speech in just a second. I've got an empty Reaper project in front of me, and I have no tricks, no tricks here, as you can hear. I will go to the master track with Control, Shift, Alt, and Home. No selection. Although it says no selection, I now have the master track selected. I can press F. Add FX2. Master track dialog filter. Combo box collapsed. Edit selected. Sono bus. And in here we've got Sono bus. Now we can press Shift Tab. List one list. VST three. Sono bus. Sonosaurus. Eighteen CH. Not selected. Two or three. There we go. We can now instantiate Sono bus. The VST three version. VST FX. Master track dialog. Press connect button to start. Please use headphones if you are using a microphone. Press connect button to start. Please use headphones if you are using a microphone. List one list 0.0% slash 0.0% CPU 0 slash 0 SPLS property page press connect button to start. Please use headphones if you are using a microphone. Press connect button to start. Please use headphones if you are using a microphone. Connect button. Sonobus connect button. There we go. 
that is everything that it says and it automatically moves us into the configuration window so let me tell you it's not kind of intuitive to use it's a juice window which is a ui interface for especially vst plugins but also for other uis that is not out of the box accessible at least it wasn't until the most recent version and they are just getting started with accessibility so what this means is that it's still a bit clunky and it has some things that you will probably end up struggling with like sonobus tries to have you focus the window all the time but if you don't want that and for example remove the sonobus plugin from your fx list then this can get really really tricky without the use of the nvda object navigator for example so this is not trivial but you can certainly navigate the ui and i won't go through all the options because sonobus is really feature rich it can do a lot of stuff you can control the volume for every single person you can record what you send within Sonobus. If you're running this in standard own mode, then this might be actually helpful because you are not using Reaper to route everything through. You can even chat through Sonobus. You do have a soundboard in Sonobus where you can play certain sounds into the complete group. You can mute and unmute certain people. You can do so much with Sonobus. And I definitely recommend you to follow the link in the video description, download Sonobus, read through the manual if you want to use this because the manual explains everything quite nicely and get a friend test it on your own you can easily create two project tabs in reaper and just instantiate two versions of sonobus in the different tabs and connect to yourself basically to test if everything is working fine that's no problem at all just go ahead and try for yourself but this is really useful in so many situations i can't recommend it more so let's get started the thing that we basically need to do when instantiating Sonobus is the connect button. Everything else here is up to you to discover, basically. And if you have any questions or any specific thing that you want to know about Sonobus, then let me know in the comment section. I will make a dedicated video for this. But this is really just an introduction video and a recommendation video to recommend you with Sonobus, basically, and to get you up and running. So we already have the connect button focused. That is what Sonobus does by default for us. So let's press enter on that and see what it does. Radio button checked. There we go. We get automatically moved into the radio buttons where we have to select which kind of group we want. By default, it's a private group. We can also tap public groups radio button not checked. to have a public group and check that if that's what we want. But I will stick with a private group. Let's tap once more. Unknown. That's an unknown field. Let's just skip that. That's kind of some kind of control. As I said, Juice is kind of clunky and has some issues with some controls, but it's not any important thing here just tap over it paste share link button paste connection information from the clipboard that's important if you've got an instance running already or if you have a friend who's hosting the group and um, then they can create a link that they can share with everyone who's meant to join and they can just copy this to the clipboard and they can go here and press enter on paste shared link and it will take the link from the keyboard and figure everything out from there the group name the group password and everything that's an easy way to jump into another sort of a session let's tap once more copy share link button copy connection information to the clipboard to share that's the total opposite if you're the group host and you want to share the link then press that and you will basically copy the link and everything they need to know into the clipboard share that with their friends and they will be able to join group name edit blank group name is a name that you can freely decide upon just you know give it a name that speaks for itself you can also tap once more randomize group name button generate a random group name randomize group name is a function that generates a random group name for you let's hit that and see what it comes up with group name edit spec erector spec erector it's it's great it's awesome i would take that every time um so it basically randomize words Put them together like three words, four words, whatever. Generate a random group name that's not yet there yet, and you know, name your group like that. If that's what you want, do it. Randomized group name button generate a random group name. Optional group password edit blank. Optional group password, as it says, quite intuitive, right? Don't need to enter a password if you want for extra security. Go ahead, do it, and share it with your friends. Your displayed name edit Tony. Your displayed name minus Tony, obviously. So you can enter whichever you want. And uh, you will go another name. 
connect to group button. And then we have the connect to group button. Let's push that. Waiting for other users to join group speaker rector. Waiting for other users to join group speaker rector. There we go. And you have set up the group and everyone will be able to join by sharing the details that you have seen in the winner before. Now that window is kind of complicated. You got as, as soon as someone joins, um, the window gets even more complicated because you get controls for every user who joins. You can mute every user, you can control the volume, you can route them. Um, because basically the Sonobus plugin got 18 channels if you want to, and you can route everyone to a separate pair of channels or whatever. And uh, that way you can create all kind of different track setups where you route everyone everywhere else and create different recording scenarios where you can record them individually and everything. That's kind of crazy. Sonobus is so versatile, you can do a lot of stuff with it. It's not the only plugin that kind. There are different software like Jamulus, for example, which is meant for especially jamming together with really, really low latency. Sonobus is kind of nice in terms of latency, but it's definitely not on the really, really high performance side. Um, especially not if you leave it on default, then it would, I think, I'm not entirely sure, would probably send Opus in 96 kilobits, which is kind of high performance, but you can definitely squeeze a bit more out of it by reading the menu and following the steps that are explained there. So that's all you need to know in order to get up and running, because when putting this on the master track, everything else is set up for you already. You just need to have someone who joins your group and you will be able to hear what he is playing and they will hear what you are playing. And that's kind of neat. So there is a iPhone app, for example, as well, and probably also an Android app. I didn't get the iPhone app to do what I want, though. That's It's even less accessible than this one. This is kind of accessible over here on Windows. I'm not entirely sure over Mac, but I think Mac should be accessible as well. But this on iOS, I was able to create a group. So what you can do, you can create a group on your iPhone and join via your Windows PC. That shouldn't be a problem, but the other way around, it's kind of hard because you cannot paste the link and the input boxes in the iOS app are kind of hard to work with. Like they are not entirely voiceover ready. So that's kind of a problem, but they will probably do something about this. Sonobus is open source. Um, they don't have to pay anything, so that's definitely something to try out and to have, you know, in your bag in case you need something to work collaboratively on some project or something, consider Sonobus. Definitely worth a try. It's for free, you know. Never dump a free product. And that's it. A quick video. Just wanted to recommend you Sonobus to you. It's an awesome tool. I like it whenever I'm like, let's create a music project together or I've got an idea, let me show you this. And I'm not up to, you know, setting up loopback in Discord and Discord voice quality is just bad and the Discord voice detection feature and voice activation will just kick in and normalization will disturb everything and such. I would just set up in Sonobus, create a link, send it to my friends and they will be able to join. Easy as that. They will have to have experience with Reaper though or they need to run the standalone app to do that. But as you can see, it's basically just a guide them through once and they will be able to connect and you will be able to do everything you want process kind of thing. So definitely give it a try. It's worth it. Thanks for watching until here. And, uh, you know, it's kind of hot outside. It's summer. It's really, really hot. It's dehydrated. Take care. And uh, if you've got some free time, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the video. Or, you know, follow me on Twitter if you've got a Twitter account and uh, you will hear from me in the following days. And until then, have a nice day. Bye-bye.